Leo, I got a special treat for us today. Liver King sent me exclusive footage of him before he was Liver King showing his abs. Video, you're gonna see the original unedited videos and pictures of Liver King's abs before he was the Liver King. But on some of them, you'll notice when they're darker, I did increase the contrast and the sharpness and gave it a little bit of a tan. That way you can compare the old pictures to the new pictures of the Liver King's abs now because I was missing the abs when I was showing the previous video. So here you can actually see his abs before he was liver king. We can decide now, were they implants? Were they injected? Did he have fat sculpting? We've got a picture of him in board shorts showing a completely different style. And then we've got a video of him so you can actually see the movements of the abdominal muscles. Now this is from when he was uh, roughly 35 years old, he tells me. So it was roughly 10 years ago. And I looked it up on uh, wiki and uh, it says that he's 45 it says that he is 45 so years old thought, everyone thought he was 40 uh, so okay. this is about about 10 years ago interesting and this is the exclusive pre liver king footage so, so, now, so, and this footage all, he's much bigger than he was in the footage that I just released on the previous video yeah a little while ago Tony got uh, got access to some footage that he released which uh, I probably should have been in because Tony, after you released Came fast. it, yeah. <laughs> liver, liver King followed Tony, and he doesn't follow me, unfortunately. But anyway, so I don't know what, I actually didn't see that footage, by the way. Yeah. But anyway, so is he 35 in both of them? The video and the yeah, photo? So to comment on the like. photo, first of all, he seems glycogen loaded there. I mean, similar to, to uh, not how he is now or used to be recently, but he seems quite loaded there. Let, let's see the video and I see. Don't, I mean, he's obviously compare. less big, and less low body fat. The abs look very different, though. They, they but the abs do bulge. They, they certainly do like pop. You know, not everybody's abs pop like that. He, is he even the exercises he does are trendy. He was always into this like hip kind of new. Okay, here we go. Here's the abs on video. Oh, look at it. Look at his abs were popping way back then. Look at oh, that. Yeah. That was long, but that was before ab implants were a thing. Really? Right? I mean, well, 10 years ago? Apparently, Derek doesn't think he has ab implants. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is, but, but, but Nilo says he hasn't seen something like that. I mean, there's footage of, of Liver King going down a, a slip, sl a slide, mm. and, and that's what I saw, and he's laying back. Mm. And the abs, the way they move, they look really fake. But, you know, if, if his abs are real, now that we see, if, if he got implants, he got them way long time ago, which is kind of hard to believe. But the thing about so. it is that Liver King was... So I, I've been listening to his recent talks on various podcasts, which, by the way, one we should have looked at is the one with uh, on valuetainment. You can see how glycogen loaded he is there. It looks crazy. Uh, it's, you, know, you can see a huge difference to here. By the way, a He was probably of, eating carbs back then. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. But I've been listening to him and his story about what he used to do is that basically, and this is not a, a bad thing, but his story is that he invested in a dental clinic or something like that, and his wife originally worked in that field. Basically, it sounds like he's always had access to maybe money and investments. Like his story about, remember he was, uh, this gang initiate was 10 years old and had to fight him, but his friend's mother took him to the gang meeting. And, but the funny thing is later, he says that he had a friend in high school who had calf implants. What kind mm -hmm. of high school has gangs and calf implants? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? So maybe this guy was very wealthy and he, had, he was into cosmetic stuff like a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is note that his hair is clearly receding there and thinning. And recently, it may be still thinning, I don't know, but it, I was thinking that the whole get up of the long hair with the hat was somehow some kind of diversion from maybe an insecurity. I thought he was going to have like a big bald spot, but then he is, then we found footage of him where he takes his hat off and it shows the hair and he has a lot of hair, but of course that's when you're long, when it's long, you don't know. I mean, my, my hair of course, of course is, you know, I don't know what to make of it. Stuff. To be honest with you, all we know for sure is that in that video footage, it looked similar to how it does now. Yeah. Which who knows what that means. So it's like, what maybe was, he's, maybe he's one of the world's most gifted people in developing abdominal muscles. Like, he may be in the, like, he's more than Ahmed Haida, which used to be a bodybuilder, and, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's other bodybuilders noted for having very large abdominal muscles, but not somehow 
uh, having like major separation in the, in the linea alba than developing hernias. This guy's invulnerable to that apparently. I don't know. So he, here's it's, a, it's unlikely. Here's uh, when I was. But he's doubling down on it recently. Sorry, he was recently interviewed again about this, and he said he does not have ad, ad implants. That was total bullshit. Yeah, I was I was asking Liver King more about this, and uh, you know, in the previous video, we talked about you know the who who's who is Liver King? Is it actually Brian Johnson, or is it Brian Johnson playing a character? Is it a completely made up character? Is it evolved from who he is? And here's his response. Uh, this is directly from Liver King to me right now on on really WhatsApp. <laughs> Just says, I've always said that Liver King ate Brian Johnson, the corporate guy. It didn't happen overnight, and these videos prove the transformation. Because he's referring to the videos of him lifting, you know, uh, you know, eight, ten years ago. So so the truth is that Brian Johnson is now in the cage. So Brian Johnson's gone. And Liver King is integrating his best qualities now. The vulnerable, heartfelt human side to claw out of this storm that I created for myself. I intend on keeping these qualities moving forward, a higher form. There's so much value that needs to be advanced. So you said, I've always said that Liver King ate Brian Johnson. Yeah. Derek so, ate Liver King. <laughs> it's, it's like an <laughs> it's evolution. It's, no, it's an evolution. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> erp, erp, erp. It's like the big fish. In the fish. Apex predator. But it's like, you're a different person now than you were 20 years ago. There's some core qualities and you know how you developed is is part of who you yeah, are. Yeah, but I don't flex my abs all day with a shirt off. That's well, not that I could. I'm not evolution. saying I could do what he can do. I, maybe he's. But, but what I'm saying is, he said recently in an in a interview also, uh, Valuetainment, they were discussing his abs. He said, I'm flexing my abs all the time. But then, while saying that, he didn't release his ab flex. Mm. He should have released it and said, see? Here's what it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> but he didn't do it, which was very yeah. suspicious. So Liver King flexing his abs all the time is just like someone who's driving their fancy car. It's like showing, like they didn't have to drive that, that car or whatever. It's like showing their best feature, you know, it's, accentuating their best feature it, or, or wearing more. clothes. Or, but it's your own body. It's even more a part of you than it is like your car or your clothes or anything else. But it's more effortful than that because you could be like so rich that this fancy car doesn't really mean that much to you. Or you, but if you were somebody that's uh, like middle class, but you're spending a lot on this car, and every time you're worried about it and constantly conscious of it, that's more likely because mm. you're flexing all the time. You 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 don't get completely used to that. But if you're flexing all the time, it becomes section nature. You're breathing all the time. Your heart's you, beating all the time. You, you're digesting okay, all the so, time. Okay, so if that's the case, wait. Then if you you think you do that because he mentioned that to me before, but you moderately flex. He's doing something different, mm. or he's doing or he has a gift that nobody else has. Right? There's something going on there. He may have been flexing his abs all the time for the last 10 years. I mean, because look, his ab development's amazing. Like, Liver King has amazing abs. We can all agree on that. Then some people say it's implants, ab etching, or whatever. Go back in time. He had amazing abs back then as well. He was also rich then and doing fancy health-related stuff then. And he could have had access to it back yeah. then, yeah. I suppose. But that doesn't look like implants. Yeah. The eternal optimist. But that's good. <coughs> all right.